What's up? How you doing, girl? You good? You good? Just making sure. Anyhow, huh? With a capital H, as in hor, but not with the hard R. You see, hatred is an art form. You can't simply say fuck you. You have to explain yourself. Put some garnish on the table of fuck you. The fuck you itself is just blah. But when you say you go fornicate yourself with a dildo made out of sandpaper, that takes art. It takes a degree in English. It takes dedication. And that's this book. It is the epitome of fuck you to the reader. Yes, I know, I know. Maybe I'm going too hard. Maybe I'm, you know, exaggerating a bit, perhaps. But... I want to say one thing about this book, which is the unbecoming of Mara Dyer. It was not the unbecoming of Mara Dyer. It was the unbecoming of the reader. Also me. To those who recommended this book, I want to give you this gift. And to those who said, no, trust this review, it's... Beautiful. I also give you this gift. And to the many people who backed up all the claims and still fighting for this book, I also give you this gift. You get it. You get the point. I don't have to go on. But this book, I'm gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna tell you the plot because there isn't a plot. I don't think I ever got angry about a book as much as this one. It pisses me off so much. To say it's garbage is just me being generous. It is garbageino. You know, it's garbageano. It is garbage in its most emphasis on that word. And when I say garbage, you might think to yourself, oh, he must mean like a couple of, you know, uh, boxes or thrown paper. No, 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 I'm talking about meat. Spoiled meat for a couple of weeks mixed in with vegetable and rice and water poured all over that motherfucker and then spoiling for a couple of days in the hot, disgusting sun until that whiff, you know, uh, oh my god, I can't, I can't stand it. This was this book. The writing, oh my god, it was mechanical, boring, and stupid to the level I think I might have lost a couple of brain cells. The story, oh my god, what story? There is no story. First of all, it's 60 chapters, okay? Let that number sink in, 60 chapters. Now I read it in audiobook, so that equivalent to nine and a half hours of reading. Nine and a half, okay? <laughs> Let me just put this in perspective. If you were watching a movie and somebody said to you, oh, that's, that's a series actually. Yeah, the first uh, eight hours of the movies, you know, the first eight movies are pretty much garbage. The last one actually has the story. Would you watch it? No, because you're not insane or stupid. This book is marvelous to say the least how the hell how the fuck did it get a second book a second chapter i think it's a trilogy holy shit son this is garbage no dialogue i've seen better dialogue in porno parodies okay there is no dialogue it's mostly oh my god i hate him he's so disgusting but i so want to be with him and what happened? Oh my god, he died! So I went back to school and uh, continued studying. Can you focus on the thing that happened just now? Just now? Happened? No? Because the side stories and characters are so riveting, you can't... We can't take our eyes from it. This book was a waste of my time. It's gonna be a waste of your time. This review is to tell you that I will never 
recover the time that I lost. I may never recover this time. I think this book is used in the final level in hell. Be after Lucifer, like there's Lucifer, you know, Dante's Inferno. The levels of hell and how they are shaped in the bottom level is where Lucifer stays. No, it's beneath that. They torture you with this book. And this book made Fifty Shades of Grey, the movie, look like Romeo and Juliet. The horror element and the supernatural element in this book made it seem like a reject from a TV show that shouldn't have been existed. If this book was ever turned into a movie or TV show or whatever, it would not even be on cable. It would be in public access on channel 3001. And even then, it would be only viewed after 12 o'clock a.m. Okay, I feel like I've gotten a lot of it because, ah, that book sucked. Now, just so you can understand why I hated this, Maybe you're thinking, you're not being fair, you're overlooking a couple of things. No, I'm not. Okay, I just finished it right now. I just ended that hellish experience. At the last couple of hours, I was screaming for the book to end. I wanted each and every person in that book to die simultaneously. I, honest to God, I never felt this angry about a reading project. I, uh... Anyhow. It begins when the girl, Mara, plays Ouija board with her friends because, you know, that's all 16-year-old do, you know, <laughs> phones, Instagram, what? No, oh, man, let's stop that Ouija board. You know, we like to play. It's a detriment to this writing. After that, it skips the most important part in the book. It goes like, Oh, after we played, and it spelled out my name, all my friends died. Wait, th there was something here. You skipped it. You skipped the interesting. But I forgave. I was like, it was mostly something in the background. It's going to be something interesting. It's going to build up and become this awesome thing. No, it didn't. Then they move to Miami, like all assholes do. And then they go from Miami and then go to school and the book stays for the first two weeks in school okay the first two weeks in school it made it out to be like the first couple of years in that place and the guy i know he seemed romantic you know the love interest noah but can i say he sounds rapey like extremely rapey like i i actually don't think i've ever met a character as this rapey before but i learned one thing no matter how rapey you sound, no matter how forceful and like creepy and stalkerish you might be, it's okay as long as you're handsome. And the book makes sure you remember that fact. Because whenever he says or does something, you would be like, <laughs> that's creepy, that's, that's, that's wrong, that's fucked up, man, what the fuck are you doing? They say, out of nowhere, he's so handsome. He's unbelievably handsome. He's ungodly handsome. Okay, we get it. I get the concept. I get the concept. Can we move on from the looks? Could you develop the character, per se? Could you not make the writing seem like a mechanical douchebag wrote it? There is no such thing as flow in this book. There isn't. I've seen better flow in mumble rap. I've seen better flow in death metal. I've seen better flow in... You get it. I'm not gonna go too much in this. In summation, because honest to God, this book was just... Uh. <laughs> what? What did I do to deserve to read this book? And honest to God, it was 60, 60 chapters, I said it before, but I checked out at the first 30, because 30 chapters and I haven't seen a semblance of a plot yet about a book that's supposed to be horror. I've seen better horror story in a campfire, okay? I've seen horror in my fucking grandfather's toe. Like, you see that shit and you would be scared, like, what the hell happened here? I've seen horror in that more than this book. Well, honest to God, I don't even want to talk about this book. I just want to leave it behind. This is my review. It sucked. It was garbage. You get the point. I highly recommend 
you don't read this. Save yourself. If you are an avid reader and you like books and you like how they intrigue and how you are, in a sense, a director in your own brain, you shape the world, you create this universe, and you live in it as a third party watching from outside or within the characters. This book gave me nothing. This book gave me nothing and wasted a lot of time. For nothing. The character, the story, everything at the end, everything that was supposed to be the twist, I saw a mile away. The book could be shortened to three chapters and it would not be any different than what it is now. I think, I highly think, this is not even my theory, this is my sister's theory, that this book was made this long just to become a novel, to be published as something other than a short story, a shitty short story. So yeah, this is my review. Thanks for watching. Doses, man. God help you if you watched it and you like it, man. I recommend great books, okay? One of them, if you feel like, oh, that was beautiful, I'm going to give you a book that is so short and it gave me so much depth, so much character, so much build-up, so much everything in shorter time. H.P. Lovecraft, The Color Out of Space. That's a horror book. You want to see a drama? The Diviners. It, it touches on everything. It's like Diviners, ugly-ass cousin. 13 removed, like it could not be even in the same category. If you want to say like, uh, that was beautiful. No, 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 no. The Diviners is beautiful. This is just, what the fuck? What the fuck? What in the actual living fuck is this book? Yeah, I've already said goodbye.